Jeff Bezos' net worth just breaks $100 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Leak Project, how the heck are you? What would you do with the $100 billion buckaroos? That's a lot of dough. Now, his income, his net worth, I should say, has risen by $33 billion this year. $33 billion. And Bill Gates was the last person to obtain this coveted 12-figure fortune. And that was all the way back in 1999. You can read about this article, Bloomberg.com. What I find interesting is the fast track, how quickly... His fortune has risen, and very intelligent, obviously. I mean, Amazon's brilliant. Why not bring a bunch of people, a bunch of retailers into one umbrella and find a way to market it? I mean, absolutely incredible. Now, Whole Foods is underneath the Amazon umbrella, from what I have heard. And what will this do for Whole Foods and the purchase price of organic products? Will it bring it down? Will it be a good thing? Will it be a bad thing? Well, I think it's going to be a good thing. Now, what about when you start seeing drone deliveries, though? Amazon drone deliveries and the Amazon Echo where, you know, I see them as just profiting off the company and profiting off of what is being pushed in the market. Now, the increase of $33 billion in one year, that reminds me of Microsoft back in the 90s and Bill Gates' fortune the rise and fall of the stock market had a, a large impact on his money. Although, I mean, he's still worth just billions and billions of dollars. Although the stock market, if you think about it, if you see your net worth rise by $33 billion in one year, and you look at your stock prices of the company and how much stock you own, well, what happens if that doesn't hold its value? Is Are we looking at a collapse or not necessarily a collapse. Are we looking at a possible reset, a correction, possible correction is probably the best term in the stock market? I mean, gold right now is about 1300 bucks an ounce. I mean, I've got precious metals from Noble Gold Investments and very good company. They've been around a long time. And silver, I've uh, you can get... Bitcoin, I, I mean, I was checking on Bitcoin a few days ago at $8,000 for a Bitcoin. You can purchase almost 450 ounces of silver in your hands for the price of a Bitcoin. What happens if the stock markets have a correction right now that are pretty much all-time highs? At least the Dow is. I, I'm seeing a lot of similarities here. So Jeff... And his fortune, $33 billion increase in one year, that's fascinating. Getting into Whole Foods, that's very smart. That's fascinating. Do you see similarities similar to 1999, 2007, some of the corrections that have happened over the past 20 years? And let's get back to what would you do with $100 billion bucks? Well, there's 7.4 approximately billion people on the earth, and the top eight wealthiest people in the world have more money than the lower bottom, or I should say financially, the bottom 50%. A lot of Americans, if you look at the average income of an adult, it's in the $340,000 range, but a lot of that's linked to the house that they own, that they're probably upside down in, or have hundreds of thousands of dollars left to pay off on that combined with the interest that they're paying on that. So what do you consider net income? Now, having a conglomerate like Amazon, as large as it is, and as cutting edge as so many different avenues that they've taken are, I mean, they've definitely established a strong foundation, and even with a correction in the stock market, they will survive, in my opinion. Although I do see some similarities of now, and I'm not an expert, versus what it was like 20 years ago and 10 years ago, you know, these, these cycles what do you see happening? Now, 100 billion bucks. I looked up to see if you could buy a country for 100 billion dollars. There's plenty of countries that have a gross domestic product of just several billion dollars a year uh, in Africa. And you can buy islands. You can buy plenty of islands. I was looking at this website. Where's this at? Let me tell you this website. It's quite interesting. It's called privateislandsonline.com. I mean, they've got islands on here for $462 million, $12 million. There's one in the United Arab 
Emirates. There's one in Greece. There's one in Thailand. Here's one in the Bahamas, the Philippines. There's one called Pumpkin Key in Florida that's going for 95 mil. So you're not going to get a whole lot of real estate if you want to buy a country. You can be a landowner, but to actually own a country, that country's going to have to give up their sovereignty to you. So it'd be a lot more difficult to do that. Now, as far as real estate goes, I've talked to people that say the crown owns far more real estate. And as far as assets go, you could take all of the top, you could take the top eight richest people in the world linked to these articles. And the amount of real estate that the crown has would far surpass what these assets are of these very wealthy individuals. So that would be interesting to see how much the crown really owns. And, you know, with an island, Let's say you buy an island for 100 million bucks. Now you've got almost 99 billion 900 million dollars left. What are you going to do with that? You spend 100 million dollars on this nice island. Then how do you get it sovereign? Or do you? What do you do with the rest of your money? Would you would you end starving for many? Would you would you be somebody that would create a, a network for other countries that are less fortunate to learn how to grow crops and educate them to take care of themselves. Learn them, uh, So they learn how to fish. You're not just giving them fish, but also giving them fish while they learn how to fish. What would you do with the money? Imagine the interest you could collect just on $100 billion. Yet, if you look at the interest... And versus inflation, you're going to have to get a good return on your money. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. A hundred billion bucks. A hundred billion dollars. What are you going to do with a hundred billion dollars? Be the change you want to see.